Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout. This is episode six. Last time we navigated the necropolis and we encountered a bunch of super mutants hanging out near the water tank. We repaired it to help out the ghouls and then we obtained the water chip with 80 days to spare. We've done a pretty decent job in our time management. I'm very happy with this game and I'm loving the progression of the story and how just weird it can be and how random encounters can be. We stumbled into a situation where we were taken somewhere by a super mutant Harry to speak to Lieutenant and it was just like, hey man, I'm a super smart guy and we're going to tell you about all these grand plans. And it was just insane. And I was like, I can't believe that this is just happening right now so casually. And it's an entirely missable encounter. It was just crazy. You know, if you just if you just go in there and just shoot him and you don't go, all right, take me to your leader. You miss out on this weird ass encounter with a in very intelligent super mutant that tries to convert you to his cause because he is trying to search for my vault and I'm one of the chosen ones in his eyes. And it was just, it was just crazy. It's like, you're going to become one of us and we're going to dip you into a vat of acid. And we witnessed that and it was crazy. Uh, we're heading back to speak to the friendly group of ghouls, just to talk to them about how we've uh, repaired the water tank. And then we're also going to try and find this set person that they were talking about. Because um, I guess they must be located somewhere in the necropolis, but we haven't encountered them yet because we just went up straight to the super mutants. Thank you for repairing the water pump, and I hope all is well with your people when you return with what you have found. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. He tries to control Necropolis and has forced us underground. Where is Set? <laughs> Where is A? Thank you for your help. Goodbye. Okay. Um, I just, I'd assume that he'd be out in this sort of same location, right? The same sort of area. So we're going to go and look for Set. And see what happens, because we've got some time to kill before we head back to the vault with the water chip and become the savior of our little cute vault. Try and leave out this area. Oh, that just takes us out. Watershed, hall, hotel. What's the hall? I don't think I've been there. Oh, hang on. I think this is the, uh, this must be the middle section and we just have entirely skipped over it. <laughs> okay. Ghoul guard. Ghoul guard. We did not stumble upon the, the hall. Um, and we just went straight to the super mutant watershed. Uh, I need to get in there. Is there any way you can help me? I told you to leave. Your kind is not wanted here. Right. Okay. Go away. Okay. Um. Is there any other entrances? This place is so dark. I wonder if there's any other doors to open or whether we're just gonna have to go in Let's see if we can get this building Let's see if I can see in here there we go hang on Ooh. there you go I've got a bunch of glowing ones in cells god there's so many of them oh there he is set the leader of necropolis I cannot get there though look at them all I wonder if because we've already done the stuff with the with the water that maybe we've like skipped over this segment and just like cut this part out entirely, which makes me a little bit curious to actually take a look at what could happen if we don't have the water chip. Let's hmm, let's have a look. 
Okay, so here's a save that I had prepared earlier. This is why multiple save files are so good. So the mutants are still alive and the water has not been fixed. Okay, we can still go to the hall. Interesting. I was wondering if that would unlock after the fact, because we definitely haven't been here. Go away, you're not wanted here. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I can't get in even with the... I'm going to have to force my way in. Oh, okay. I can just walk in. I honestly thought that, that guy was going to put up a fight. He's like, go away. And then he puts up zero resistance. There'd better be a killer reason for standing in my shadow. Does next on the menu ring a bell for you? Normie. He called me a normie. <laughs> God, I recognize this guy's voice, but I can't place it. But oh my God. All right. He is set. Uh, wow, you're pretty smart for a ghoul. What is that? Sucking up? Listen, Walker, I don't do the deal with norms, so blowing smoke up the tail ain't gonna get you head seat at the table. <laughs> Damn. Um, my apologies. I wanted to make a good impression. Simple time. I'm set. I'm in charge. Get it? According to my info, you're just a second-rate minion. You have no idea who shadow you stomp. That's a cool line. A second-rate minion. I know your boss. Not happy. You walk for him. You're his snake, straight? Here to skin me? Oh, I swear you'll tombstone too. Try it, spaghetti face. Okay. Ow! I, oh, we're okay. <laughs> Ian, help! We're already getting to it. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is who's coming in here? Who's moving around? All right, it's you guys. I'm like, why is we taking so long? Uh, okay, so what I can gather from this is we can talk to this guy, but he's very antagonistic, and so are we. And it's going to result in needing to take out this entire group to uh, help the ghouls underground. But it was cool to see him. I'm wondering if what we can do with this guy, though. God, look at him all slowly coming towards us. Oh, one's coming out of the door. Slowly but surely. Ian, get him. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, this is this is a very slow combat situation that we're in right now because there's so many people here. This is hilarious. Ow. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Get him in the groin. Got him. 27 hit points. A critical wound is inflicted. We just shut his balls off. Let's go. Oh, nice work, Ian. Now help me out with this other guy. I wish you could, like, press a button that would just skip their movement and, like, allow them to go to their intended destination. Just, like, skip. Guys, if we kill Set, you're all working for me now. So it just seems that we're like, we can go in here, antagonize this guy, kill this whole group for a lot of experience and probably loot. Or we can just go straight to the super mutants and repair the, the watershed. I think this is the fun of a game like this is even like, you know, there's Bethesda games that have a hell of a lot of replayability, but then you can go back into an experience like this where you can completely miss an entire zone and it's not like super crucial, but it makes the element of replaying it so exciting that you can have such a completely different experience and journey. And that excites me. We're now dead. And that was Fallout 1. <laughs> Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your Thank vault you. will now surely die. Thank you. So you can have like these great optional encounters. 
on replays and then you can interact with them differently and it's great if if you're interested in a continuation of the fallout playthrough and doing a different character and doing some things differently let me know because we can tackle some things that maybe we might have missed and go through it in a different way it could be a fun way to have a more optimized fallout experience after the first playthrough let me know how you feel about that but we're gonna reload and we will just continue with our prime save file where we have the water chip and we'll go but what's really interesting to know there is we can encounter set in the hole and i feel like we could do that now um now that we've killed these super mutants and we've uh we're in a bit of a better spot we could go we could go to set now now that we know that we can just enter the the room without the guard even caring and then we can wipe them out for experience and loot and then we can head back to the vault it might even be a better idea to just if we're gonna make a mess of this place we could try and just take him out like one by one let's save while we're out here and then let's go in so it didn't even make a difference whether it we'd uh, dealt with the mutants in the water or not there's no response okay actually I wonder if he talk well let's see if he talks to us differently now that we've solved the I am situation set. why do you tread my shadow Hmm, okay, so he says hello differently. I am bringer of death. Fall to your knees and beg for mercy. Whoa, we'll major case of acne. Or oh, give me a sandwich, I'm pretty hungry. Is my speech skill high enough to actually do this? I am the bringer of death. Fall to your knees and beg for mercy. This is just going to become a fight. I'm here to see the boss, that you? I cast the shadow. If that's the lot, remove yourself. Oh, I'm here to collect the bounty for some mutants? Workable. Follow Garrett to gratitude, then walk another path. Oh. Follow me, I'll see to your reward. Oh shit! Because I took out all the mutants, I'm like, hey man. Oh, interesting. If I'm here to collect a bounty then maybe what was going to happen here initially is you encounter this group, you talk to them about the mutants and the watershed, and then they're like, what's up? Kill the mutants for me and I'll pay you. And then Set can assume more power of this location because there will be no uh, mutants in the way. Interesting. I feel like I'm right in my assumption there based on the fact that we can just go, hey man, uh, bounty? Even though we've never even seen him. You received some flares, some coke bottles, and 50 bucks. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love being a bounty hunter. That's so funny. Garrett ignores you. That is hilarious. He's just like, here you go. Fridge is locked. Leave now. Go away. Very interesting. Okay, so we've just gotten paid by taking out the mutants. And it seems that you could take out this group if you wanted to. But we'll leave them. Uh, we're going to go... Um, let's see. I love that we just haven't involved ourselves with the raiders at all. Before we head back to Vault 13, we're going to go back to Shady Sands. So we're going to make the long journey back to Shady Sands and we can restock and check things out. Because I expect we'll go back to Junk Town and the hub and stuff. Um, oh, oh, I expect we'll go back to those places soon enough. Goodbye, Red Scorpion. I've been poisoned. Let's get out of here, Ian. Let's get out of here. All right, let's continue on our way. Shady Sands. And we'll 
we'll just see if we can sell some stuff. We've got our house. We've got our house in uh, in the hub. Oh god. So remember that we've got our house. <laughs> that we've put all of our stuff in the uh, put all of our stuff in the in the chest. The brain, get him. Oh, is oh okay. Ian, you out of ammo? Ian is out of ammo. The brain. Ugh. I missed with I missed with a ninety-five percent. Crazy. Get him. I'm getting annihilated over here. By the way, Ian. The brain. And he points. How are you still alive? Throwing hands on him. Yes, I know I've been poisoned. Nothing new. Done. Wonderful. All right. We'll get more of these red scorpion tails because we can turn them into. We can turn them into end dudes back at Shady Sands. Let's leave. We've got side quests and stuff to do as well in relation to the hub uh, and Junk Town. And we'll do that. We will most certainly do that. But we need to sort out this water chip scenario first. Alright, Shady Sands. Oh, there might be... I wonder if there's more, if this is just the entrance. Is there more? This place looks pretty walled in. Oh, actually, hang on. There's a little opening here. There might be more to this place. And this whole time I've missed this. <laughs> there's a whole other area that we just haven't been to yet funny. Hello. Ramen sure do stink this time of year. Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We all work and share together. Okay, who's your leader? Aradesh is our current elder. With his experience, he helps to lead the community. How do you survive out here? We have farms and irrigation, and we heard Brahmin. Everybody contributes their skills to making something useful. Thanks, bye. Okay, oh look. Corrupts. It looks like a mutated cabbage to you. It seems to be thriving in warm weather. Okay. We got Brahmin. We got peasants. We got cabbage. What more do you want? Guys, we missed such a significant area. The Shady Sands music. Is so haunting. I see a bowl. Dude. Unbelievable. Okay. There is a second area of Shady Sands, could you believe? Let's head to Vault 13. It's water chip time. Guess we'll just go straight to the command center. Heard about some of these places before, but never been in one. Seems nice and clean. A little too clean for my tastes. Well, straight to the command center, baby. Let's talk to the overseer, which we now know that the overseer has his goddamn Gatlin guns on the side of the chair because we saw that cutscene. How crazy is that? Man can sit in his chair and he's like Ed 209. He's like <laughs> just shooting people that are coming in. You'd think you would want to maybe put those in a more accessible area, like chuck them at the back of this hallway here. And just they come out of the elevator and get them all instead of final stand in this room. All right, let's talk to the overseer and be the hero. Have you found the chip? Yes, but I think we should talk more about letting people leave the vault. There's a yes, but. 
Mm. I don't know, man. I, are they going to be able to handle it? That's an interesting thing. Well, you've certainly earned that right. But let's take care of survival first. Give me the chip and we'll discuss this when you give your report. Fair enough. Okay, dokey. One moment. The chip is initializing. Here, there, 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 there it goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. This dialogue is really good, and this voice acting is incredible. I love the like the him talking to himself, being like, "Okay, very good, very good." It's just like so realistic. Ah, it was nothing. I uh, I've went th through no hardships to get this. Nothing. No. Oh no. It was something. Don't downplay what you've done. You've saved a lot of lives. All right. Now we need a report on what's out there. Please go to the library. Okay. To the library. Ooh, look at that. You gain 7,500 experience points for returning the water chip and saving the vault. Congratulations. You log your reports in the library computer system. You should return to the overseer to finalize your progress. Cool. Level up, baby. All right. Got some more skill points, small guns, speech, as usual. God, I may as well just... Bah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Why can you go over 100%? You can go over 100%? What is that? You can go over 100%. That's crazy. What the hell? I'm going to drop these down just a little bit because I'm going to focus on just some other things. Hmm, that is wild though. Sure. Alright. Small guns and speech. Getting them up there. Boop. Let us talk to the Overseer. Actually, let me return these goddamn water canteens. <laughs> I'm going to return these water canteens to these lockers because I was under the impression that they would restore my health when I would drink them like how they do in the Bethesda games. Um, but whenever I, when I went to drink them, it's just like the game's like, that does nothing. So I'm like, okay. Container for the holding of and preservation of water and other liquids. So I think that there's no water in them. Is there, is there any water in them? I don't know. But we're just gonna, we're just, you can go, you can go back. I mean, I'll just take one, you know? I'll just have one with me, just in case. I've got my Nuka Cola there, that's all that matters. pretty cool because like we've had a whole situation where it's just and now I can see behind this with the Pip Boy 2000 we've had this whole situation of just um, get the water chip and that's our primary objective and now it's like anything can happen what happens now I guess we've got this sort of interesting mutant that's trying to figure out where our vault is so maybe it'll tie into that I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized actually we're rebuilding our reserves you did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. About what? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well, I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. What's that? The mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe in... I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. 
and at a startling rate. Must be a lab somewhere then. I've definitely never been in it. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. What do you want me to do about it? As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. Damn, so this place that we got taken to, I guess, is where they're doing the Unity thing? Is still directly tied to the vault, and therefore they're like, hey man, this is troubling. Okay. Once more into the breach, my friend. You have no idea how sorry I am to send you back out. Let's just shut the doors and we'll just hang out here again. Let's just chill in here. We'll let the next generation do with it. <laughs> That's usually what people do, right? They go, we'll let the next generation deal with it. And then the next generation try to fix it. And they're like, how dare you try and fix things? It's fine the way it is. All right. We still have more to do. We've got to go and destroy a mutant lab. And we don't know where it is. And we killed the only mutant that could take us there. Um, wild. You're a hero. My little boy wants to be just like you when he grows up. I don't know if I like that. Thank you for saving us. Cool. Um, I guess. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we have a lead already. Uh, that Harold dude was talking about, like, uh, a location. I feel like we should talk to someone who's old as balls and get information from them. I think that that could be a good idea, actually. Yes. Yes. I think that could be a good idea. I wish that I could fast travel to the map from the inside the vault. I have to do this. All right, let's get out of here. That seems like a pretty good lead. We've got find the missing caravans for the hub. I get uh, lost the skulls gang in junk town. Destroy the mutant leader. Destroy the source of the mutants. And uh, yes, this is me discovering the fact that there is actually some sort of a quest log in this game. We've been writing down notes, which is cool because we can write down our own details, but it turns out that status, you can actually check and go further. Isn't that fun? Isn't that great? <laughs> Vault 13 water. Oh, that was the remind boy message, right? Um, pretty good. I'm, I've been enjoying using the notebook to take stuff down, but that is, that is pretty funny that Yes, there's a quest log there. I, I, it seems so clear to me now that I'm looking at it. Um, what's this location? I don't know. We've still got five other locations here, if all of them do get filled in. So Vault 15, Vault 13, Shady Sands, the Raiders, which we just haven't interacted with at all, Necropolis, all right, well, let's go to, I don't know if there's going to be anything to do at Junk Town. We're going to go, we're going to go straight to the hub. We're going to go straight to the hub because that's where we can check in with people. Do a reset of some things. Assess our inventory. Sell some things, buy some things. We've got some side quests. It seems that we're not on a time limit anymore now that we've fixed the water situation. So I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Ugh. God damn, more rats. Oh yes. I need to sort out Ian's whole scenario. Um Ian. Why hang on. Can't I can't do that in combat. Which is annoying. I he's just gonna punch them all. He's got multiple weapons. He's even got like 
melee weapons. I guess he's just not capable of wielding melee weapons? I don't know. He does decent unarmed damage at least. See if we can't fix this situation. Ian, what is going on here? He has. He's got multiple weapons, dude. I get that you're out of ammo, but you've got. He's literally got plasma pistol. He's got a sledgehammer. He's got this bad boy as well. I guess I'm just gonna sell this crap for money. Because Ian's ain't. Ian ain't using shit. And then I'll just give him his 10 millimeter bullets and call it a day. It's a straight shot. Made it. Oh. Okay. Water merchants, old town, downtown entrance. Let's go to Old Town, because we're going to go check in with this dude. He's old. I reckon that this would be a good lead. I'd be like, hey man, mutants doing mutanty things. You know anything about that? Probably just have to give him a little bit more cash. Grease his palms a bit. Oh, hey, it's you again. Um, his... Mutants. Oh, okay, guys. I guess we'll we'll leave. <laughs> Doesn't know anything about that. Anything I can do for you? Nothing. Oh, hey, it's you again. No, I just I just fuck it. I just gave him twenty bucks for nothing. Damn it! I was like, this guy, this guy would know. I reckon this guy would know. All right. What that means is there's many more people in the hub for us to get to know. There's a lot of movers and shakers in this place. There's there's uh, rooms that we haven't even gone into yet. Uh, so we've still got people to meet. We can we can ask and we'll follow up some leads, I suppose. Um, let's go to my house. Back to my house with a very solid roof equation. And I'm going to sell some stuff. We'll store some other things. So, store my magnum bullets. I'll store my rockets. I reckon we could sell that. I don't think we need that. I don't see that coming up anymore. And then, Ian, I'm going to steal from you, my man. Because you're being terrible. So, I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. He can't use the sledgehammer, so I guess I'm just going to take it from him. Um, and I d will probably not use the sledgehammer either, so that's just hilarious for both of us. Have some... Have some bullets. Actually, let me give you the... For now, I'll give you these, okay? You can have some armor-piercing ones. Use them wisely, my guy. I ain't using 10 millimeter bullets right now. Let's sell. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Just ignore the gun. Ignore the gun. We're fine. All right. I would like to sell. 
Alright, I'm I got stuff, so you better be ready to pay me. How much money you got? You got money? Only a thousand caps. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. I might have to sell elsewhere with that in mind. Because this is already worth a lot. Maybe I can just trade for some stuff. Like I'll get some more bullets. I gotta get some more bullets. Give me some of those. Give me some of those. Okay, this feels good. And then I'm gonna sell this as well. Yep, that costs a decent amount. Oh, that plasma pistol. That's that's big money. That's big money. Oh, so is that. Okay, I'm gonna have to find someone with a lot of caps. I reckon. That's good to know. That's good to know that is. Um, let me, oh, you know what? That means I can afford to upgrade to this armor and I can sell you something good. God, that sledgehammer was a waste of money, wasn't it? I wonder if I'm ever gonna have to use those tools. All right, and I swear I had something else. Hmm. Cause that's 7k, that's a lot. Alright, I might do that. I'm gonna get some grenades. Cool, and then you can give me caps for the rest. I have to do it in a bunch. Oh, you're gonna say, yeah, and then I'll say offer, and you'll be like, yep, you'll just give me more. It's not good enough. Okay. Um, well, let's fix this caps arrangement. Um, maths. There we go. Bam. Good trade. All right. Nice. That was a solid bit of bartering there. We're going to change our armor so I can sell my leather armor. Nice, I'm upgrading. Um, and then if I never need some more cash, we're sitting on some big boy guns. Good stuff, okay. I'm gonna go store those guns in this bookshelf at the moment. I'll store my big money stuff away. When I need cash, um, I'm able to grab them. I'll sell that. Yeah, put that in there. Um, I already forgot that I was going to sell my leather armor. I don't think Ian will wear armor. It doesn't seem like he's got that sort of situation. So, just got to protect his ass. 800. That's a nice, that's a nice amount of get back. 800, please. Thanks. Jolly good. I wonder if I could ask about mutants. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. I'm gonna have to ask some specific people, I think. Lovely. We're gonna talk to the Overseer again because I have been going everywhere for information. And I was like, well, let's do Harold. He'll know. No. And this guy is the dude that gave us the mission. So he's if he's done the calculations, he must have some more information for us than just, hey man, can you go out there and deal with the mutant threat? So I'm going to press him for more information, see what we can find. Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. Uh, imagine saying I've got good leads. I'm clueless. I'm a little lost. Well, based on the information you provided about population density, I think you should concentrate your search to the west. Okay. Oh. Has the mutant lab... Well, based on the... Huh. Okay. 
Has um, labrit. Mutant. I don't know anything about that. Lab. I don't know anything about that. West. I don't know anything about that. I love it. I love it, Overseer. Thank you. Okay, I've just wasted so much time, and all I had to do was just speak to him a second time. And he would just say, go west. Okay. We're going west. Sure thing, bud. Get me out of this vault, then. We are going west. Where west? No idea. Just we'll go in that direction and we'll see what we can find. It looks pretty expansive on the map because there's a lot of sections on the map that we just haven't even uncovered yet. Um, and there's like, what's like five or six locations? It's funny that we've had like at least a general sort of main quest this whole time, so it's been easy to have that in mind and follow those leads, but now it's like, hey, can you go do with this? And it's like, uh... Yeah, it looks like, yeah, there's a lot... Yeah, there's a lot more unknown here. Should we just... Okay. I guess if there's settlements, they're the green circles. It does at least review, reveal, like, quite a bit. Going west. We're searching for stuff. You just said directly west, so. God, how how far? Holy shit. How far can we go? This is kind of terrifying. We're going so far out. Oh. Okay, patrol unit of mutants is passing close by. What is that? Oh my god, oh it's the centaur. Lesser centaur. I think I remember these from Fallout 3. Oh my god, Ian! We've got trouble! Oh my god, they look horrifying. Wait, what's that? What's the thing next to it? What is that? What the fuck? Okay. It's like the in the top left corner. It's like as far as you can go out is where the mutants are. Oh god, no. <gasps> the bruise will look nice. Maybe the scars will make for good party talk. Oh my god. A floater. Uh, Ian, we're in trouble, dude. Alright, focus on one at a time. No time for funny groin shots. We're surrounded. Go for the head. Okay, this is this is pro potentially problematic. Oh man, I need to go for this dude because he's gonna wipe me out. Ouch! Ow! Ian, we're in trouble, man. Oh my god, Ian's been punched onto the ground. He's getting punched while he's down. Ian, you can do this, man. We are in some sort of strange mutant orgy right now. I have to go for the big boy. Aha! Super Mutant Patroller. Ian was killed. <sighs> Anytime Ian dies, we reload. Because <laughs> I can't do this without him. <laughs> Ian was killed. <laughs> God damn, that thing is disgusting. All right, let's try that again. I uh, haven't saved since we went to the vault and asked for questions west, so I guess we'll just... We'll just go west from the hub. I guess this will cover some more ground instead of just going straight from the vault. The displaced rock brings it with the remains of a long dead traveler. A dead traveler? Wow! 30 bottle caps. Thanks. All right, let's continue. Yeah, I guess heading in this direction will at least allow us to probably see some more of the map instead of going straight for 13. Oh God, we have a place. Hang on. 
What's this? Unknown. Small building surrounded by a chain link fence is to the north. Menacing guards and heavy armor patrol the area. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's the Brotherhood of Steel logo. This is the symbol of the Brotherhood of Steel. This marker tells the Wasteland that this is their area. And to li oh, deliver me early. I see a paladin, Cabot, an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. They've got their bunker. Dude, this is so cool to discover. And it's so great. Like, I feel like everybody knows Power Armor. Everybody knows the Fallout look of Power Armor. That's so cool, though. This is where it's like, this is super exciting to like see stuff for the first time in this game, but have like an awareness of like what they are from future games. Don't shoot me. I'm here to say hello. Oh, okay. Greetings and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, okay. Hey, missing caravans? What is the Brotherhood of Steel? Yeah, this is the first time I'm seeing you guys. Never seen you in any Fallout game ever. The Brotherhood of Steel is a collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the preservation of technology. I've heard that you people sacrifice puppies. Sacrifice puppies? Where the hell did you hear that one? Don't believe everything you hear in the waste. They're all a bunch of pathetic lunatics. Sorry to have upset you. That's okay. It's just people don't even try to understand what we're all about. What's there to understand? Technology. That is all that anyone needs to understand. Join us and you will come to know this. How does one join the Brotherhood? I need to speak with Cabot about that, okay? What's Brotherhood of Steel all about? Because I want to have a look. I want to ask him about the armor. What type of armor is that you're wearing? This is Powered Combat Infantry Armor Model T-51B or more commonly known as Power Armor. I've been wandering the waste for weeks and for... For weeks, four weeks now, and I've never seen armor like this before. The Brotherhood of the Soul Bearers of the Power Armor in the Wastes. Only the Honored and the Knights of the Highest Stature are given the privilege to wear the ultimate armor. Guess what? We've got to join the Brotherhood because I need my own power armor right now. <laughs> uh, that still doesn't answer why I've never seen it before. Uh, what? That was weird. Go on. Oh, what's happening? I think the game is broken. Go on. Okay, for some reason it wouldn't let me pick any other option and then it's just gone. Okay. Um, power armor. What? Cabot. Okay. Tell me about is so funny. All right, let's talk to Cabot. Hello and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? How crazy is it that the power armor appearance and look is so iconic that they've never had to change it? It's great. It's so cool. Uh, what do you do? Well, uh, I'm an initiate. Uh, right now, my, my job is to greet people at the door. Doesn't sound terribly exciting, but I still want to join the Brotherhood. That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Ah, uh, yes. Complete a quest first. Okay. Uh, did you do a quest before you joined? Uh, not exactly, but um, things are a bit different right now. So tell me what's different. I'm sorry. I, I really can't. They, they said not to. Goodbye. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello. What do you need now? I've changed my mind. I want to join the Brotherhood. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. Like what? You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order. That's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. This feels... this feels shady. How will you know if it's from inside the place? This place is high-tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> can I have some, uh, can I have some rat away, please? I'll do it. You'll do it? You will? Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. This is totally like, hey, random wasteland guy, can you go get us some cool technology? It's radioactive. You might die. And then bring it back. And then like, cool, thanks for the technology. Bop. <laughs> 
Okay. I can't believe it. They're sending him down there? Okay. Um, so south of here, I don't have any, uh, I think, I can't remember who had, I think there's a merchant in the hub that had right away. It's quite expensive, but we, I've got stuff to trade. All right, we found the Brotherhood of Steel. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to save. We'll save with that in mind. Um, south of here is apparently a place where we can get some cool technology. We can join the Brotherhood. Like if that's our way to get power armor, got to do it. Okay, so we've got... Oh, you know what? It's probably a good idea to get power armor before we go and... Ooh, the glow. Probably a good idea to get power armor before we... Um, go and take on Super Mutant Base, right? The glow. Okay, first I'm hearing of this. The glow. Is this the place that they, I guess this must be the, the place that they're talking about. It's it's kind of wild that you can just like pick your random destination and then you're like, oh, here's the Brotherhood. Oh God, it's a bunch of Ian's. Ian, which one, which one are you? I think he's this one. All right, don't shoot Ian. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Nice. Critically hit in the head for 28 hit points with no armor defenses. Ian, look, I did it. Whether they made Ian not look like random raiders. Your bloons. Your bloons shall beach the wastes. The head. Ah! How did I miss? 95%, man. God damn it. Ian, you hit me. Okay. I thought I got hit for 28 just then. I was like, you bastard. Ow. Ow. Nice. Um, nice. Nice. Not nice. Huh. Huh. Done. All right. Let's loot some bodies, baby. Nice. Stuff to sell for sure. Got a bunch of hunting rifles. Caps. Oh, damn first aid kit. I've got too many of those. I need to, I need to sell them because they confuse me. All right, cool. Let's continue the journey. I feel like we should stop off at the, I feel like we should go back to the hub. All right, we've got this location in here. We've got the Brotherhood and the Glow. Three other locations remain. One of them would be that super mutant place. I need, um, I need Radaway. Uh, I think the, well, the merchant, I guess the general store will be closed at this time of night. It's, it's quite dark. Why are you still there? You serving? Oh, cool. Here's what you have. Pretty sure you have Radaway, right? Yeah, I remember you having Radaway. How much? Whew. Okay. Ooh wee All right, I can sell you some stuff. I... Picked up some random shit, so like, take that. You can take my hunting rifles. Perfect, look at that, and then I'll keep that pistol. Great, and then you will give me uh, some cash. Um, how much? Okay. Perfect. A deal. All right. I've got some Radaway. I remembered where we could buy Radaway. It's very expensive and I've only got three of them. So I got to make them count. Now we can go hang out at a place ominously called the glow. 
Oh yeah, it's radioactive. Cool. And hopefully we'll be fine. Um, I might actually... Uh, I should get some more... I should definitely get some more stim packs as well. Uh, Ian's got some, but I need I need more than that. I gave him a few. God, he's only got two as well. All right. God damn. All right, time to go stim pack shopping. Get some more stuff, and then we'll get out of here. All right, let's continue the journey to the glow. We're stocked up on stim packs. We got stuff. I had to buy a couple of random things because the gun that I sold was like, oh god, this is so far away. The gun that I sold was like a million bucks. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just grab a bunch of random stuff to make the price worth it. This is a tremendous journey. God, look at this place. What does it look like when we're there? The glow. This is so sweet. What the hell happened here? Oh! I have received a large dose of radiation. Oh, you know what would be good? Oh shit. You know what would be good? Rad X. The Rad Resistance. Well, at the very least we've saved our game, so if all else fails, we'll see how we go. The more radiation damage, the more deadly the effect. Your character is suffering from a significant amount of radiation poisoning. We have 14% rad resistance. Um. Oh god, we're just watching it continue. Wow. Alright. I see a dead loser. <laughs> I see a dead loser. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. Um. We do anything yet? I guess we've got to go further in. Right? Let's get away from the crater. Oh my god, we're just like watching the stupid. You received a large dose of radiation thing. This is gonna be great. Alright, guys, I'm here. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Shit, wait a minute. Hold on. I think we gotta go in. We go in? You know what? I think we're going in. There's nowhere else to go. I think we've got to do... Uh, do we do rope? Can we go down? Um, if I... Hang on. Put a rope... Rope. Rope. Okay, at the moment, all I'm doing is just getting large doses of radiation. <laughs> um, feels like we would go in, right? Oh, there we go. You cannot climb the pit using just the metal beam. There you go. Yes! Alright. Large dose of radiation in my ass. Alright, let's go. Go down the metal beam. Oh my god, dead corpse encased in odd armor? I cannot get there? No! No! There's power armor! Are we in a vault right now? Interesting. Alright, where can we go? Let's see where we can go. Large dose of radiation. You know what? Maybe this might be a good opportunity to use this. I'm assuming that Ian is not, like suffering from the effects at all I've lost 25 current radiation level 
I see that I'm radiated, but where can I see my actual... I wonder if I can see my actual radiation level. me at this corpse. This will be proof that I've been here, right? I guess. Whoa! What the hell? I was hit for no damage. What the fuck just happened? Uh, ju explosion jump scare? Did I go over a mine or something? Damn it! Give me the armor! Give me that double-cheeked up on a Tuesday morning armor! Okay, you see a dead corpse in case not armor. This seems strange. You think it may be what the Brotherhood sent you to retrieve. Yellow pass key. All right, we'll take that and we'll take a yellow pass key. Computer. Ooh, all right, primary power. Reinitialize. Error, okay, diagnose. Generator level six. Inoperable service needed. Ooh, okay. Emergency power is online. Um, gotcha. So someone from the Brotherhood perished here. Ah. Oh. God damn. God damn. We had a Geiger counter, didn't we? We got rid of it, though. Big book of science, nice. Geiger counter would have been uh, a great idea. We probably would have been able to see our radiation level, but I, I sold all that stuff because I was like, we bought it in a hurry, and then... <laughs> and then the time that I actually could use it, I don't have it anymore. That's funny. Ooh. 14, oh, that's the 14 mil pistol. An assault rifle. Nice. Looks straight out of Blade Runner. No, I'm at a weight limit. All right, this is fine because I'm going to give Ian some stuff. Ian, you're going to hold on to a bunch of stuff right now, okay? Um, I was supposed to sell those. But it didn't work out. You can take the motion sensor. I'm going to read that big book of science. You can carry the assault rifle and other stuff. Because I'm going to sell it. Okay. Give me this. I'm assuming we can... Um, we can use the elevator. Alright, let's have a look. A yellow pass key. Does this elevator work? You know? Sturdy rusted door. Let's go have a look. See if we can get this power online or something. Oh god! Alright, I was hit for four hit points. There are mines in this place. Okay. <laughs> Get a mild shock from the electric field on the door and take a point of damage. Oh. Oh, hang on. Turn off the... Go turn off the emergency. But if I turn off the emergency power, will I be able to use the elevator? Hmm. Can I go down this hole? Emergency power. Disable. God, now it's just dark as hell in here. The electric field is off. Can I use the elevator? The elevator is an opera that seems to need power. Well, this is just great. Hmm. How do we do this? It doesn't look like there's a metal beam on this to use, like, another rope. Glad that I bought a rope from uh, that dude. 
Like I said, I just needed supplies to make up for the 7k weapon. Hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at these lockers. I don't know if there's anything else to do here right now. We have a yellow pass key. A lot of this stuff looks destroyed and inactive. And we can't get into the elevator. Rude. We're going to leave for now, then. We'll go. Because we've got the stuff that the Brotherhood wants. Da -da -da. What the hell happened here? we got the stuff that the Brotherhood wants. So we'll leave. And then... I'm just going to get out of there real quick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. I was going to get away from the crater so I could use the rat away, but because obviously you travel and time passes, we just died due to radiation poisoning. <laughs> oh God. Okay, now I have to do that again. Fallout, what an adventure. All right, let's use the rat away. I lose 25 current radiation level. I don't know if that's good. I'm still radiated and I'm kind of scared to leave. So I'm just going to use all of them and maybe that'll fix me. Hey, yeah. All right, run away. Run away. Am I still radiated? I'm still radiated. Run away. All right, do you reckon I'm going to survive? Something about diarrhea. I saw a comment. I saw a text down there that said something about diarrhea. Okay. Um, <laughs> I need to go and buy rad X somewhere. I need rad resistance because I ain't, I ain't getting there. <laughs> I ain't getting where I need to be uh, with three radaways. I, the radaway I need, but I, I also need the rad X. Um, Have we, have we, oh, actually, hang on a minute. I think that there's a merchant in Old Town. I think there is a merchant in Old Town who might have what we need. Um, so dark. I'm gonna wait until, oh, I can't, I can't rest. You can a rest here. Okay. I think it was in here. There's like a bunch of people in here, but I think I can do business. Yeah, Jake's... No, Jake's weapons... No. Barter. Oh, you got... You got the... All the... Shit. Yes. Yes. How much? I don't know how much I need. Okay. Pricey. All right. Pricey. I'm going to do it, though. All right. Three should be enough, because I don't know how long the resistance lasts for. Taken before exposure, no known side effects. I don't know how long the resistance is. Three should be fine. Three might even be too much, but like, I might accept it. Um, I think that that's fine. And I'm gonna sell those missiles. I'm holding on to my, my deagle. I'm gonna keep that. Um, how much the tools? Because I just, I, there's tools that we're able to get in the, in the place. They're in one of the lockers. I also have not 
used the tool set yet. At the very least, if I need the oh, no, no. you know what, I'll keep that and I'll just I'll just pay you the rest. I'll just pay you the rest. That's fine. All right. I got some radix. I've got resistance and I've got rat away. Bye. I'm leaving. I thought I went in there and I was just like, I'm gonna just buy shit from you and leave. And then he kicks me out. All right, now we'll pop the rat X and then we'll go in and hopefully we'll survive. Taken before exposure. All right, grab this stuff. Shame, shame about the fact that I can't get the goddamn power armor off this guy. Just strip his body. I want the power armor. We got this stuff. We're getting out of here. We can't engage with the elevator. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Large doses of radiation. I still have, like, radiation resistance. It's quite... All right, wild. I've taken my radix. Still radiated. Get out of here. Okay. Let's take more rat away again. I'm still quite radiated. Okay. Take my final rat right away. How are we doing? Am I gonna die? Please tell me I'm not gonna die if I leave. I've taken Radex. My rad resistance seems pretty good. Oh my god. The darkness of the afterlife is all that awaits you now. May you find more peace in that world than you found in this one. Thank you. Thank you. I'm dead once again. <laughs> I've even taken the Radex. This is crazy. Okay. I can do this. I believe in myself. All right, we're being much smarter now, and I've popped two rad X's, which has given us a total of 100 rad resistance. I thought that I could get away with just using one, and I was like, that gives us obviously a lot more rad resistance, so we should survive. Now I haven't even taken any radiation damage whatsoever. Uh, so there you go. I can now leave without getting diarrhea, shitting myself, and exploding with radiation. There we go. Oh, I finally lost some resistance. There you go. It says that I am radiated, so I am gonna pop a rat away. I bought them. I may as well use them. I lost 12 current radiation level. Cool. I'm no longer radiated and I'm no longer going to die. <laughs> All right, we survived. We did it. All right, uh, first try. Naturally. All right, let's head back to the Brotherhood with that in mind. God damn. Rat attack. Oh my God. We find several rats scavenging about here. Wonderful. What are you guys doing so close to the, the crater? Get out of here. All right. Maybe let's chill out and hunt some rats for a bit, shall we? All right. Let's think about what we've just had to go through. <laughs> think about what we've just had to go through. My God. Ian, you couldn't even kill that rat? You're joking. You're gonna have to make me kill all of them? Wow, Ian. Unbelievable. Let me get out of here. Now that we've gotten out of that mess, we can we can chill out. Alright, back to the Brotherhood. We've got interesting things. Actually, we should investigate what it is that we've got, because one looked like it was like a like a, one of those hollow tape. Not hollow tape, that's not the right word. Oh god. Oh god! Oh god! The bodies ahead is littered, uh, the ground ahead is littered with debris and bodies. It looks like an old battle zone. And I've been poisoned, because of course I have been. Yeah, get it, Ian. Got some supplies here. The brain. Ah. Nice. 
Knocking the poor creature senseless. Alright, there's a knife here. Give me that. Let's loot these bodies. Let's see what we got. And what happened here? Look at these ones. Atomized. You guys got anything on you at all? Nice. I was gonna say, I'm like, come on. Give me some bullets. Give me some stim packs. Something. Ooh, I got a spear. Cool. Done. Oh, actually, hold on. Inventory. I want to have a look at this thing that we actually picked up. So we've got a yellow pass. No idea what that's for, but this. Yeah, it looks like it's a... Yeah, it's a tape. Hit boy displays downloading data from disk. Ooh. Nice. Hang on, we have the data. Um, why wouldn't that be in like archives? Ancient Brotherhood tape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Text on my screen. All right. Time for some reading. You know what's kind of funny is I expected actually a lot more of this getting into Fallout. I expected a lot more text reading stuff like this. That actually surprises me that I'm like, we're getting this far in and I'm like, oh, there we go. You know how you would like read, like in Fallout 3, you'd like get into terminals and you'd be able to read a bunch of like messages and stuff like that? That sort of thing. Captain Maxon was right. This place is death. I'm writing this so that if we don't make it back, someone someday might find out what happened to us. We made it to West Tech Research Facility after 20 days of hell. But that was the easy part. The radiation levels began to shoot up as soon as we could see the giant crater. We checked our supplies and figured with our armor and anti-rad supplies we'd be fine for at least a day of exploring. We felt it was a calculated risk but the technology we had the potential of recovering was worth it. We climbed down the crater to the first level and everything seemed to be according to plan. The power was off, so we didn't need to circumvent the security, or so we thought. There wasn't much of value on this level, so we pushed on. The second level was more of the same. By interacting with that uh, computer, we know that there's a generator on like a sixth level uh, to get that primary power on. When Jensen dropped to the third level, all hell broke loose. The security sensors had been burned out on the first two levels, but not on the third. Jensen was cut to ribbons before he knew what had happened. We'd never seen weapons cut through power armor like that. Men started dropping right and left, and the ones who were still alive lost it. I tried to regroup, but only Soto and Camarillo made it back up here to the first level with me. The fact that I can smell Soto's burning flesh where his arm was taken off means that my power armor is no longer airtight so I'm sucking up a lot more rads than I had planned on. I'm leaking hydraulics at an alarming rate. We need to get far away enough from this place before my armor dies. Camarillo seemed fine physically, but he wandered off about an hour ago mumbling something about Gahana. That bastard has all the anti-rad. That leaves Soto and myself. We can't make it far enough away from here without the anti-rads, so I've got to try and find Camarillo before it's too late. Sergeant D. Allen, United States Armed Forces. Damn. Well, there you go. That is definitely proof that we went to that place. I like that we actually get to download the data from the tape to the Pip-Boy. I was actually worried for a second I might need like a tape recorder or something. Oh, I see a lone traveler in the distance. Hello. Greetings, traveler. What brings you out this far? Just wandering. I see, much like myself. Okay. You're not from one of the communities out here? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering work. All right. uh, what kind of work do you do? Mostly a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I helped Junk Town with their lights and showed the people in Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. Okay, can you direct me to a nearby settlement? Okay, what kind of music do you sing? Oh, mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. <laughs> Would you happen to know No Gala Maeve, as I think it's called? Why, certainly. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Patrick sings 
songs, and the two of you reminisce for several hours. You feel invigorated. Oh. That's kind of awesome. What the hell? Can you give me some directions? Um, what do you know about Shady Sands? It's a small, self-sufficient community led by Aradash, a kind man, and strong leader. They are peaceful and hardworking. They are probably the best chance for a new civilization here. This is really interesting. He's just random guy. He's got a bunch of information. Hanging out near a crater. Junk Town, a small trading city. Strange place until you get used to it. They run by Mayor Killian Darkwater, a hard but fair man. The hub is a major trading center. It's said that you can find anything there, and I'd say it's not too far wrong. Necropolis is the city of the dead. It's inhabited by ghouls, the descendants of humans who sought shelter in the vault there. Story goes that the vault failed somehow, so now the only inhabitants are carrion-eating monsters. Do you suppose that vault might have parts I could salvage? Possibly, but I for one wouldn't risk the ghouls. Latest word is they've some sort of powerful new leader. Outdated information, traveler. Can we barter with him? Yeah, what do you got? Nothing. Hell yeah, dude. Nothing. It's just what I like in my in my lone travelers. They ain't got nothing on them. Come on, game. Let me go over there. Let me get out of here. He's got an assortment of knickknacks, apparently. God, we're having all the encounters on the way back. Take me back to the brotherhood. Oh god, come on. Oh shit. It's a bunch of Ians and me. We have stumbled upon an army of our clones. Oh wait, are we in the middle of a crossfire? We've stumbled into a vicious gang war. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> wait a fucking minute. Raider and... Oh my god. Do I... Are we picking a side? Should we go with the combat armors or the leather jackets, Ian? It's me and you. This is so stupid. I love it. All right. Um, are we going to get attacked by both of them? Fuck it. Go for the ones that are already getting, getting hit. All right. I helped you guys out. Now you're not going to shoot me, right? God. Oh, nice. I would love it if, because we chose to attack these ones, that the leather jacket dudes don't attack us, but I feel like they probably will. I mean, they're, they're going for those guys and not for us, which is kind of cool. Just, oh. Ian's taking all the damage right now. Nice. Ow. I was hit instead of the raider. God damn it, man. You guys give me some space, please. They're running away because they're weak. Alright, Ian, duck. Nice. Two for two. Bullying this last guy. Yep, he's running away. <laughs> he's mine. Bop. Got him. All right, you guys aren't going to attack us now, are you? We're going to end the combat. Ready? Nope. <laughs> nope. Guys, guys, please, please. We did. We weren't going for you. Now we got to kill you two. Okay. Bop. Ow. 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 God damn it. Ow. Ow. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it's impact time. Heal me up, baby. Heal me up again, baby. You ain't taking me out that easily. Ian! Oh my god, Ian just hit me for 36! I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Oh, Ian, you're a douchebag. No! Ian! Your life 
ends in the wasteland. <laughs> no! Oh, Ian, my friend. He's carried me through so much he just had to balance the scales. I never want to have to go into that place again to retrieve the same stuff because I didn't save and I had to do it again. I haven't had any encounters this time. Oh, there you go. Oh, you come across a herd of Brahmin. You feel there is something wrong. Moo, moo, I say. Moo, 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 I say. Why are they? How do they say I say? What the fuck? They say I say? What the hell? I go from having I go from having no encounters on this run from the glow and now I encounter a bunch of Brahmin that can say moo I say. Do you do these just randomly happen and then you just move on with your life? Okay. I'm gonna leave. Back to the Brotherhood. What the fuck? Oh, that's the hub. Take me to the Brotherhood. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus. That's so wild. All right. No encounters except Brahmin. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at all the levels. Oh my God, how it's like an actual, like, ah, oh, it's like an actual scroll. That's so sick. All right. Uh, I got the goods. I'm saving the game. God damn it. Saved. I never want to do that again. All right. Cabot, I got your stuff. Hey, you're back. Did you get something? I did. I survived. Great, but um, the high elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. This is this is so obvious. No, I don't want to. Well, let me know when you do. Damn it! We're gonna have to give hey, it, and then what? Heck? Did you get something? Come on, Buzz Lightyear. Great, but this is great. Hang on while I open the door. Okay. I can go in. Oh, nice. Well, hello. What can I help you with? I ask you a few questions? Go ahead. Nice. What exactly do you do? I greet people at the gates and decide whether to let them in. You and the merchants are about the only ones that get in now because the elders seem like they're preparing for something. They're preparing for something? Do you know what it could be all about? Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, I've heard the high elder arguing with the other elders. Okay. Go ahead. Had any good rumors lately? Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. That's why hardly anyone gets in now. I was surprised when the High Elder told me to let you in. I bet it's because they can identify us as like a vault dweller or something. They're like, this guy, he's got a thing about him. Why? Well, uh, I don't know, but uh, I... Go ahead. Okay. Well, some of the initiates think we're preparing for war. Goodbye. Okay. Good day. All right. It looks like we can go in. This is the interior of a Brotherhood elevator. It is squeaky clean. Let me in, please. <laughs> can, can, can I go? Can I get in or not? Well, Let me, hello. I'm Good trying goodbye. to get in. Why isn't it letting me in? Usually this works. Oh, God damn it. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like one step away. Some members of the Brotherhood might be offended if a stranger, I mean, a new initiate approaches them with a weapon. All right. All right. I, I get what you I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Wonderful. Guys, we made it to the Brotherhood of Steel. This is so awesome. Uh, wow. I hope I can get power armor. This is so cool to see. Incredible. And it only took us dying in a radioactive crater like 25,000 times before we got here 
But this is an awesome development. This took me by surprise. Instead of going west for the super mutants, we could do something like this instead. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Fallout. We're going to bring this one to a close. And next time we will be exploring the Brotherhood of Steel base. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you next time.